and welcome back to Classic Song Reviews. I am the middle-aged nerd, though I prefer to be called the man. As you know, today's music is both morally and artistically bankrupt. In this show, we hearken back to a purer time when music was excellent and lyrics were meaningful. Today's song reached number 8 on the charts in 1965 and presents itself as a sort of ballad, though this ballad chronicles the experiences of one of the most unique characters in all of music, I do believe. Our character is known as the Jolly Green Giant. I confess I know nothing of the character personally. However, I believe at the outset we have a problem. The term giant may carry negative connotations that could be hurtful to the person so addressed. I believe the proper politically correct term these days is tall person. Hence, I shall use that expression for the remainder of this review. In the valley of the jolly, oh, oh, oh. It sounds as though we are making fun of this individual, perhaps because he is in a valley? What the significance of this might be, we may only speculate. However, the song has only just begun. We've only just begun. Please try to focus. No, I have not heard. Please enlighten me. Green Giant is a vegetable. Did he have some horrible accident? Is that what this song is about? Shaking your head, no. Do you imply then that he is a lazy idler? No response. I confess I have no idea what that was in aid of. Please continue. Yes, that would be suggested by his name, which includes the words gi uh, tall person and green. Note to the songwriter, there is a difference between repetition and redundancy. Next lines, please. That certainly seems rude. This individual appears to be rather violent and quick-tempered. Then again, it is likely that he has endured discrimination both for his size and for his color, so he may be on edge from a lifetime of dealing with demeaning attitudes. Still, that is no reason to lash out at just anyone, excuse me? In the valley of the jolly, oh, 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 green giant. So he did some television work. I fail to see your point. It seems that, because of his unusual appearance, he must live in a relatively isolated valley that he can call his own. I find it appalling that people in the 60s would treat someone this way simply because their appearance was a bit unusual. I hope this song is about some of these bigots getting their comeuppance. Cat? He has a cat? And the cat has the same disorder that he has, and hence it stands taller than normal and is infused with a green pigmentation? Cat as in hep cat. Oh, I see! He is the cat! The dude, the guy, the cat! Beatnik slang. Well, that certainly makes more sense than a genetic disorder that crosses species. For a moment there, I thought we were slipping into the realm of pure fiction. What? He is angry because he is without a female companion. So if I understand this correctly, if you approach his valley and you are not an eligible female of comparable size, the most you can expect is a burst of derisive laughter and a can of vegetables in the face. This person has anger issues. One day left, there's Valley Pan. We may hope that he was on his way to see a counselor and learn some anger management. We may also hope that, if this is not the case, at least he did not bring too many projectile vegetables with him. I mean to say, Kepler's man. Yes, we understand that. 
We also understand that he is not a literal cat. Please move the story forward. Well, look around. It gone long. His journey has not progressed much, but he is clearly seeking something. Whether he is seeking a female tall person, or whether he is seeking someone to throw beans at, is not yet clear. And then he ran into an Amazon. An Amazon? The Amazons were a mythical people composed entirely of women, and some of the legends say that they were quite tall. If our protagonist actually meant one, we may have to rewrite the history books, because that would mean that these legends are based on real people. And who is to say this is not the case? Many would doubt the existence of our green-tinted tall person, yet here he is. So there is no reason that an unusually tall woman might not also exist, and one would not be far off the mark to refer to her as an Amazon. Q.E.D. It changed his complexion? Did his green color fade? Did he suddenly develop acne? What does this mean? Seeing such beauty changed his... Oh, I see! By complexion, we mean demeanor. He is no longer angry. He is so smitten with her beauty that he cannot maintain the fury that was driving him. It has been replaced by fascination and appreciation. This is a good turn of events. We may speculate that she is frightened because she is unaccustomed to encountering males of her own size. The situation becomes awkward. How will they resolve this? Hey, look at her. The there are many ways to describe feminine pulchritude, but I can honestly say that Dilly is not one that I have commonly heard. What prompted such a term in his mind? Now I find myself doubting whether the green person ever actually envisioned the word dilly. Our songwriter has inserted it here in order to rhyme it with silly. We can let that pass, I suppose. But he has clearly overstepped his bounds, and the lady has made it plain that she will not accept this kind of behavior. Good for her. No means no. Well, this was something he never sensed. What had he never sensed? Meeting a woman as tall as he? Being slapped? Boundaries that say, do not touch without permission? You're right, you're right, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. It is difficult to say, but I suspect we are describing the entire situation. We know that he has never encountered a woman his own size before, so he has no idea how to approach her or what the social protocols are. So the situation he had never sensed is... Dating. I can appreciate his dilemma. He looked at her, and she commenced. A conversation begins. Now he may begin to woo the woman that he has only been able to imagine up to this point. Let us see how their romance unfolds. Now listen, pal. Ain't no fluke. I can't see going with the big cube. He has not even had a chance to speak. She brushes him off immediately, apparently because of his color. Well, if she is that prejudiced, he does not need her anyway. If there is one such woman in the world, there is likely another. Forward, Mr. Tall Person, we will find you a companion. Wait, that is the end of the story? And we are told not to be concerned about him? But he has just suffered a shattering blow from a raging bigot. She rejects him because of his two physical unorthodoxies, his size and his color. That has to be painful. And we are told not to let his troubles cross our minds? I have no idea what is going on. 
I have done my best to follow this man's story and understand his conflicts, but in the end, he simply returns home seemingly without care. And he is colorblind. What that has to do with anything, I do not say. Just a moment. If he does not see color, then he does not know that he is green and that she is not. This is why she was so frightened, and he does not understand. Thus, when she rejects him based on something that he cannot comprehend, he returns home in total befuddlement to sit down and contemplate what the word green may mean. I confess I cannot take the song's advice, because his plight tugs at the strings of my heart. I wish to find this valley and meet with this giant and encourage it. Excuse me? The Jolly Green Giant is a fictional character. I do not see how that can be. The intense sincerity in this song must have come from reflection on painful experience. Why are you laughing? Oh yes, the clip. This song includes a phenomenon that has not been seen before or since. In each lyrical pause, we have another band member reciting the names of various vegetables. I confess I have no idea why this should be so. We are discussing a man with several physical unorthodoxies who is seeking a mate. But his search ends in failure, and he goes home in despair. What do potatoes and carrots and Brussels sprouts have to do with that? So, after his failure to find a mate, he established a career growing and selling vegetables? Is that the resolution of the matter? It is nice that he found something to occupy his time, but I fail to see how that grows out of his romantic misfire. Oh well, no matter. This song is most unusual, and I am still not entirely certain what the point is. Excuse me? Humor? What is so funny about a physically challenged person who cannot find love? Do people actually laugh at that? How cruel and heartless! I resolve to take a different approach and assuage this man's pain any way that I can. If you consider yourself a compassionate human being, I suggest you do the same. I wonder how I may find this valley. Perhaps someone in the office can show me how to use this Google thing that I keep hearing about. So, he really is a fictional character, and this song is intended to be a humorous tale about that character? And precisely why was I not informed of this sooner? 